You get stuck over there? <laughs> oh, look at that! A piggy! I haven't seen her before. I know her. I do. This is Lada. Her family just recently moved into our forest. <laughs> it looks like our Cuba has, you know, fallen in love. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, love. Love, I can see, my friend, that your heart was touched by a wonderful feeling. Why don't I tell you a love story? Once upon a time, in the taiga, there lived a swan princess, a real beauty. She had three suitors. The first one dove to the bottom of the sea and got her all. Look how well I can dive. I am the very best. Well, the second one flew to the top of the highest mountain and brought from the peak a precious gem. Look how high I can fly, princess. It's me who's the best. Now the third swan started to think. What present should he give to the princess? Well, he flew far and wide in search of a worthy present. He almost gave up. But one day, while flying over a glade, he spotted a snowdrop. He gave the snowdrop to the princess and told her that only the first flower of spring was worthy of her beauty. And the princess made her choice. She gave her love to the third swan, because unlike the other two, he was thinking about her and not himself. Eh? So what? I don't get it. Cuba's got to give the girl a snowdrop then? It's not snowdrop season. It's not about snowdrops. <sighs> Don't be shy. All you have to do is go to your beloved and do something from the heart. Cuba, wait! Legends are great, of course, uh, but you're, you know, no swan. You can't go meet her like that. I bet she won't even talk to you. Cuba, you're covered in mud from hooves to tail. Don't despair, Cuba. We can help you. I can't turn you into a swan, but a very handsome boar you could be, okay? That I can promise you. Cuba, hang on. Beauty always has a price. There you go, Cuba. Now you're the most handsome boar in the woods. Wait! We still aren't finished yet. Cuba, you're clean all right, but you're still a little bit plain. You know? Don't you worry, buddy. Cause we're gonna dress you up.
better now. As good as a swan. <laughs> Remember, you, sir, are the fanciest boar in all of the taiga. Now go! <laughs> Don't get upset, Cuba. Girls don't know anything about being beautiful. What if she's just not attracted to flashy looks? Right. How should we, I mean Cuba, try to win her over then? He should try to do something impressive. Heroic, even. A feat. That's it. Cuba, how do you feel about fighting a wolf? How about crossing the rapids? Or would you... <sighs> jump across a huge gorge? <sighs> it won't work, Leo. Cuba is afraid of everything. That's fine. I've got an idea for you. Stay where you are, Piggy. I am going to eat you for lunch. Oh, no! It's a wolf! Let's run! Don't worry. Our Cuba, he's so brave, he'll beat any wolf. A whole pack of wolves. Oh, ow! Whoa, oh! Whoa, oh! I burped! Oh, no, oh. no! Lotta, stop! Oh. oh, it really hurts! Oh, you're a hero! I told you this wasn't going to work. Cuba. Who cares? She's just some girl. She is bound to like you, you know. You are so, so. Get away from me. Phew. Looks like we're too late. I don't get it. So what? Did Cuba chase the wolf away? You would have chickened out, I bet. What? No way. man once said, be yourself and you'll find someone's heart will open to you.
Guys, watch this. I got this. I am gonna hit it on the first try. <laughs> you missed. It's all, it's all because of the wind. <laughs> sure, the wind. <laughs> well, let me give that another shot. <laughs> Something always gets in Tig's way. A foundling. Fellas! Huh? Look at what I found. It was there in the sand. Oh, an egg. I wonder who it belongs to. And, oh, I wonder who's going to pop out of it. Or, or what's going to pop out of it. For something to pop out of it, one of us will have to sit on it first. So, Tig, go ahead. <laughs> sit down. Uh, why do I have to do it? Because you, my friend, are the most fluffy and the most pillowy. I'm curious. Do you think it could be a duck? <gasps> Maybe a stork. I heard that snakes also hatch from eggs. Ow! What in the... The snake bit me! Relax, will ya? It's just a little turtle. Oh, look how cute it is. <gasps> He's so precious. <laughs> Tig can't tell a baby turtle from a snake. <laughs> oh, come on, Leo. I was just kidding a bit. <laughs> Scared you, didn't I? <gasps> Ooh, a meal! <gasps> A vulture! <laughs> oh, a three-course meal! Hurry into the forest! Phew, that was too close. Hey, guys! Look over here! Our little turtle glued his fingers together. Maybe he's a little weird? I got it. That must be why the other turtles ditched him. Oh, poor baby. We'll take really good care of you. Isn't that right, boys? Of course we will. Know what? I'm going to make a true tiger out of him. Why, a tiger, huh? He could become a great leopard. Oh, I will call you a little baby T. <sighs> Remember, baby T, tiger is the tiger's king. <laughs> we got a king. Don't interrupt, Leo. T. Do you know why everyone is afraid of tigers? Because they are really, really super fierce. Roar! Make sense? Well, now you try. Come on, louder, like this. Roar! Enough! Now it's my turn. Bear in mind, Baby T, that an ambush is the best way to overcome an enemy. We leopards are experts at this. Rawr! <laughs> well, that's not quite like a leopard, <laughs> but it's a good start. And use that little precious angel in the bathtub, huh? <laughs> it's you, my little cutie patootie. Okay, Baby T, your mission right now is to catch this dragonfly. And we tigers call this thing hunting. Now go! All right, Tig, I think it's my turn to train little T now. No way, because he's still not a real tiger yet. But he won't be. 
Because Baby T will grow up to become the bravest leopard. Tiger, leopard, guys, does it really even matter? He's just a baby. Oh, guys, guys, w w where is T? Yoo-hoo, little guy. Hello, T, where are you? Baby T, come out, say something. We're here. Nope, we'll never find him like this. We gotta split up. Tig, you go left. And Mila, you go right. I'll go straight ahead. <laughs> Yoo-hoo! Baby T! <laughs> Where are you? Oh, Mila. Where are you going in such a hurry? Mm. Oh, Mappa Pandiga. Hello, sir. We can't find our little baby T anywhere. Where's little T? What do you mean? Baby T. You know, the little turtle? He has these special sort of little feet, as if they're glued together. Nope. I haven't seen him. Also, what would a turtle with glued feet, as you say, be doing in the forest? Turtles live elsewhere. No way. But where? Well, let me tell you. A long while ago, all turtles used to live ashore. But one fateful day, spring came about and brought along high waters. One of the islands on the river became completely covered in water. Then the oldest and wisest turtle turned to the river and asked it to have pity on them and teach her children and grandchildren how to swim. The river was deeply moved by her plea and gave all turtles webbed feet. But they still lay their eggs ashore, so that before going into water, the little ones could get a chance to know where they came from, land, their first home. It is a memory they will cherish for the rest of their lives. And when a baby turtle comes into the world, it is guided to the water by the soul of that very wise turtle. So that means that T is a water dweller. Yoo-hoo! T, where are you? Say something! Ugh, there's no sign of him. Guys, guys, listen up! It turns out that T is a water dweller. What, a water dweller? If that's true, then that must mean he... Yes, he's at the river! <gasps> but guys, the vulture! <laughs> My lunch order's here, with an extra crispy tortilla shell. <laughs> oh. Hey, you! Back off our little baby tea. Could you say that again? Didn't catch that. Keep your filthy beak off baby tea. <laughs> I'm so honored to have guests for dinner. <gasps>
Look, it's her! It's the wise turtle! Goodbye. Swim, T. This is your family. And, well, I wanted to say, you were one awesome tiger. And a brave leopard. T, don't forget to ride! Off with the feathered ones. Shorty! Go see what all the buzz is about. You stop your chittering right away! We can't get no sleep! Shoot! Shoot! Pipe down, you hear me? Who's flopping their trap this early in the morning? They did, did it. it! Quiet! Stop yapping! Hey, you! Seems to me like it's you who's yapping here. And the birds are singing. No one can sing this nice in the whole forest. Oh, yeah? We'll see about that. Shoe feather freaks get moving. Your presence here, we're disapproving. Messing with my sleep, who? Well, I say shoe. Sing now, birdie, sing the song. Sing about the thing along. Forest dwellers need to hear just how lovely you can sing. Shoe feathered one shoe. This is our forest, not yours. You disturb our sleep, so once again, shoo! Birdies, don't you be afraid. Just get comfy in your nest. We've been waiting for so long just to listen to your song. This is our forest, ours only. Feathered ones need to go! Songs of joy, spring is here. We love singing, can't you sing? Sing and whistle, do a dance. You'll bring spring into our land. Forest flowers <laughs> need to hear just how lovely you can sing. This is our forest, not yours! You disturb our sleep, so shoo now! This forest is not all yours, so stop being so bossy! Leave our feathered neighbors alone! Well, how about this, huh? And this! What are you doing? Stop it right now! <laughs> I'm the boss around here, you all got that? Is that right? Well, you're not the boss of me! Yeah? <laughs> we run this forest. You all got that? I don't think so. Uh -oh. Come on, you all got nothing on us. <laughs> Take this, you striped wool sack. What? I'm going to show you. <laughs> Wait, I have no time for you right now. Leo, check your six. Watch out. Ooh. Oh, stop oh. it. Cut it out right now. Leaving. <laughs> the birds are leaving. Can we have a time out? <laughs> What's this? You give up? Now you know who's the boss around here. Not you. You just wait and see. Everyone, get back to the base. It's time to drop our battle plan. Yara, you wait over here. Mila, you run over here and draw them into a trap. Ah! 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 Those? No! No, they can't be! My, my mom told me... Where did me... they come from? That they, they sucked the blood out of everyone! Oh, no! How terrible! What do we do? Let's run to Mapa. He must know. Mama Pendiga, help us 
Spiders! Ah. These are squeaky mosquitoes! Oh, Grab the pine branches! Oh. Get to the cave! Yes! So now are we going to have to stay in here forever? Why forever? In winter, the squeaky mosquitoes go to sleep. Mappa Pandiga, what sort of squeakers are these anyway? And what are these mosquitoes? Good oh boy. My great-grandfather told this story to my grandfather. One day, the spirit of the tiger's own brother, Amber, was visiting him. But Amber was so evil that the animals of the tiger didn't want anything to do with him. It made Amber very angry. So he made up his mind to punish the animals. He summoned swarms of mosquitoes, squeaky mosquitoes. Poor animals had nowhere to hide. They went to complain to the kind spirit of the tiger. The spirit of the tiger asked Tiger to deal with the mosquitoes. <laughs> tiger couldn't do a thing. The squeaky mosquitoes were too small and too fast. Then the spirit of the tiger sent Leopard to fight them. Oh. And then Wolf. But they returned empty-handed. Then a little birdie flew to him and said, Can I try? The spirit of the tiger agreed. You can, my friend. The birdie unleashed a mellifluous song, summoning the birds. Answering the boisterous call, the birds filled the sky, their wings flapped with vigor, and their beaks snapped with thunderous might. Not a day passed when the mosquitoes disappeared. The squeaking mosquitoes were gone. I know what we need to do. We gotta get all those birds back to the forest. I just don't know how we're gonna do it. We hurt them really bad. So that explains why there's so many mosquitoes in the taiga. <gasps> okay, what did you guys do to the birds? Well, we first tried to defend them from the martins. We really stuck it to them and made things much worse. Mm -hmm. uh. <laughs> 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 The spirit of the tiger come to us. Oh, come to us, spirit of the tiger, and help us. Help us lest the tiger dry up and become a desert. Go on, go on. Oh, the great spirit of the taiga, please help us to bring back the birds to our forest. We'll always treat them well and never harm them. And we will protect them with our lives. And I beg you, the great spirit of the taiga, please, please. I miss hearing them sing so much. We will cherish each one of them. We'll never take them for granted. sense now. The mosquitoes are scared of the birds. Now 
build your nests. Go on, build them. The best spots are right here, next to our home, our hollow. Here, here, and over here. Sing now, birdies, sing this song. Sing now, love, let's sing along. Forest dwellers need to hear just how lovely you can sing. Birdies, don't you be afraid. Just get comfy in your nest. We've been waiting for so long just to listen to your song. Songs of joy, spring is here. We love singing, can't you see? Sing and whistle, do a dance. You'll bring spring into our land. Forest dwellers need to hear just how lovely you can sing. Well, of course. Sure will. And it will show you some of its snow magic. And we'll have the most amazing holiday! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right! Blizzard has better things to do than entertain us. Hey! What are you doing? Oh! <laughs> Very well. Let us just see who will be laughing tomorrow when we win the Christmas Cup. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, right. <laughs> Winners. <laughs> As if they could win. We will roll you guys into the ice. <laughs> oh, yeah? Oh, no, yeah? No, no. Children, you should be ashamed. Don't fight. All right, Martins. Let's go home. We need a nice sleep before tomorrow's victory. Tig, Spike is right. We also need to rest. What about Blizzard? Come on, you guys. We'll be okay. Christmas winners. I now declare the Christmas tournament open. <laughs> <laughs> Let the cup go to the most worthy. Show them how it's done. The beavers don't stand a chance. We're playing to five points. <laughs> We're very cool. Beavers always rule. Every kid knows what I mean. <laughs> Beavers go, go, go. Score a go, go, go. Done, guys. Hooray! Hooray! 
And the team that makes the final is Leo and Tiggs. <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> Ha! <laughs> not bad. Not bad at all, Spotty. But you won't get so lucky when playing us. <laughs> First, you gotta win the game against the Lemmings. Right! See you in the finals! <laughs> <laughs> See you later! Take this! Ugh. Miss me? Ugh. Miss me again! Ooh. Listen, why don't we go make our own snowman? That's right. That's right. One that Blizzard will notice right away. Yeah, and then he'll show us snow magic. rather well. Yeah, if you're a runner-up. What's going on? Calm down. Run and see what's going on there. We still got time. What did you do that for, kid? Well, we wanted to make a snowman for Blizzard so that we could see snow magic. If the snowball falls down, we won't see Blizzard or have a holiday. Yeah, or have holiday magic either. <laughs> We could go up and carefully dismantle it. Leo! The Martins beat the Lemmings. Come on, if we don't show up, they'll count it as our defeat. But what about Blizzard? And what about the snow magic? Is holiday canceled? <sighs> All right, Leo. Let's, you know, save the holiday. Hooray! 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 <laughs> <laughs> Woo! It's amazingly huge. Oh! oh. the strike of a true champion. Well done, Leo. <laughs> Hooray! Hooray! Thank you, children. You've saved the holiday. You know, I never thought I would say it, but I gotta say, you've played really awesome. Great job. Congratulations to you, Leo and Tig. <laughs> Why is he being so nice? Mm -hmm. Okay, now, let's have our celebration.
skin of the sun. Okay, Mom, I'll go now. No, don't be too late. All right, Mom. <laughs> Jumpster! Can't find a better place to sit. He's a striped wool sack. <laughs> Let him be. Mapa Pandiga is waiting for us. Wow, Tig. Let's go. Let's see who's faster. <laughs> Have you learned how to run? <laughs> I'm gonna wait for you over there. <laughs> So high. Tig, come on, what's the problem? Seriously, not again, man. Look, I can leap there and back. Just jump. We're gonna be late. The striped one is afraid of heights again. <laughs> Let's take a roundabout. We'll have plenty of time. Oh, of course. A roundabout. Much faster. We'll be there by night. <laughs> wow, awesome. <laughs> one fat is gonna visit the other. <laughs> <laughs> well, well. Where is it? Okay. Ah, haha, here it is. I found it. All right, kids. When my grandfather was a bear cub, a tiger lived in the giant forest full of trees, beautiful lakes, and formidable peaks. The tiger. He was weak and chicken-hearted, so nobody was afraid of him. Once, a severe drought came. The tiger thought, oh, the sun must be the strongest animal in the world. I wish I'd become this strong. So the tiger decided to lay paws on the skin of the sun. But the skin was guarded by a fierce bear. But Pandiga, was he as fierce as you are? No, no. A saber-toothed bear. He resides in his big black cave and protects the way of the stone claw, the place where the sun is nesting. So the tiger sneaked past the saber-toothed bear while he was asleep and put on the skin of the sun. The tiger became the most fearless animal in the forest. All the animals and the tiger bowed their heads to him. It was on Equilibrium Day, when night is equal to day. I want to get the skin, too. Tig, I know where the stone claw is. I saw the sun setting down there, and today's the Equilibrium Day. Hurry up! The skin of the sun? Thank you, Mama Pandiga! I have to get this skin! Leo, what do you think? Was it for real? All the things that Pandiga told us about? Sure. You heard it, man. I wish I'd become the bravest tiger in the whole forest. How long do you think we've been running for? Huh? What was that? Hey, Tig. We're gonna get the skin of the sun for you, and you'll become the bravest one on Earth. Tig? Tig, what is it now? You just have to walk on this very huge, very wide log. Come on, come on. That's right. Good job. Don't look down, just look at me. That's it. Okay. No! Tig, hold on! Rio, hold on! Hold on! Tick. Hold on! Oh. Guys, follow me. We gotta get there first before the sun sets. Leo, 
Are you okay? We've surfaced! Where are we? Well, we're... It seems that... We're lost. We are? Where should we go now? Back home? Up the river? Oh, no. We're never gonna make it at this rate. Okay, it's not the way. And here is not the way either. Where is it, huh? Aha! Look over there! What did Baba Pandiga tell us? Come and put your paw on the sun tree in the evening, and the way will be enlightened. Run along towards the sunset! Uh, Leo! Look! <laughs> Whoa! I always knew the stories were true. <laughs> Tig, stop talking! Let's run! <laughs> Whoa! I always knew the stories were true. <laughs> The cave of the saber-toothed bear. We can't go further. Hmm. How can we climb this mountain? Hey guys, over there! <laughs> All right, fellas, everybody climb up this tree. On me! Sun is gonna set soon. Faster, faster! Run, Tig! We gotta get there before the sun goes down. Leo, I think we'd better go back. Come on, Tig! Forget it! Stupid skin. Maybe it doesn't even exist. No skin? What are you talking about? It must be there. Mappa said to catch the sun before it goes down. So run! Come on, come on, we're almost there. The rock is so close. Oh, wow. Look at this. We're so high. Is this the place? Shh, keep quiet. This is the cave of the saber-tooth bear. Whose cave? You mean the saber-tooth? Oh, no thanks, I'll pass. Me neither. Look there. The stone claw. Let's go! Leo! Careful! Uh, you know what? You better go on your own. Wait there! I'll bring the skin! The skin of the sun! I'll be the mightiest in the whole forest! Come on! Go down now! What was that noise? Ah, the spotted one! Hey, you! What do you think you're doing here? The skin is mine! Buzz off while you can! No way! I'm here to get it! And I won't leave without it! What? You won't leave? Well, we're gonna help you! Leo! I'm coming! Too busy running away, I didn't notice any saber tooth bears. You know, Tig, you don't need no skin. You're the bravest tiger in the world. <gasps> Sounds like a saber tooth bear. <laughs> Keep cool. That's my mom. That's your mom? Quite a mom you have. <gasps> That must be the saber tooth bear. No, no. That one's my mom. We better get home and fast. 
Everybody has a skin. But to make it glow like the sun, you need to find your path. Far away, in the infinitely vast expanses of the sky, high above the tallest mountains and the prettiest clouds, way up high is where the Red Deer lives. Sometimes he ventures down to the ground. The patter of his hooves makes the sound of thunder, while the gleaming of his silver antlers makes the lightning. Being always hungry, he tramples down everything in his path, devouring entire trees as if they were grass blades. Nobody is safe from him. So, if you see the red deer, run! <laughs> so there, that is how the story goes, kids. The Red Deer <laughs> Awesome! The thunderstorm's over! Yes, we can go out now. <laughs> well then, off we go. Goodbye, Mappa Pendigo. Bye, Mappa Pendigo. Bye. Bye. It wasn't scary at all, that story. I don't know. It seemed pretty scary to me. Where's Leo? Guys, come over here. <laughs> Leo, where are all the trees? I think someone ate them. Oh, it was scary. Evil. The red deer. Rawr! Yara, it wasn't funny. <laughs> on the contrary, very funny. Good, it's going really well. Come on, come on, come on. Bush! Let's get another log, lads. Wow. <laughs> so that's where all the trees went to. Mr. Beaver, what are you doing here? Can't you see? We're building a house dam, obviously. Stay out of our way. And two, three... Whoa, look at that! It's a bridge! I've never been on the other side of the river before. <laughs> More reason, then, to check it out. Do you mind if we cross here, Mr. Beaver? Sure, go ahead. Just be careful. No, we can't do that. My mom says... No, she doesn't. You're just afraid. Stop making excuses. Tig, come on. Afraid? Me? I'm not afraid of anything. Hey, don't just stand there. Get back to work. Ugh. Look at that giant tree. I've never seen anything so huge. Ah, oh, the great cedar, the father of the forest. Looks like a regular old tree. Let's go. Uh, what if it doesn't want us to go any farther? <laughs> yeah, right. You make it sound as if the tree is magical or something. You don't know. What if it is magical? <laughs> Bunch of chickens. Me? Let's go. <laughs> Told you. Nothing to be afraid of. Nothing at all. Uh-huh. Sure. <laughs> it was
was just a bunch of birds. Hey, what's wrong? That's what the magical tree tried to warn us about. He tramples down everything in his path, devouring entire trees. So if you see the red deer... Missing. Marty, my poor baby. Missing? Just wait. I'll find him. We're coming with you. No. Take, take everyone to the river. I won't be long. All right, come on. You heard Leo. We're going to the river. Follow me. You don't need to worry. We're on it. We'll find your baby. Marty! Marty! Yo, Marty! Oh! That's where you are. Marty! You hear me? Marty! Huh? Oh. <laughs> we need to leave! <laughs> long. The trees are gonna burn down! Come on, come on, come on! And two, and three, yeah! And again! The Red Deer! It's too close! Oh, we're not gonna make it! Jump on the wall, quick! Marty! Uh -oh. Leo, do we really have to go in the water? Take again, really? <laughs> It's just that it's a little too wet. Tig, paddle on! Oh. Oh, We pulled it off! We did, huh? Whoa! <laughs> 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 
With. Mappa Pandiga, we are fine. You should have seen us take down the red deer. And we saved the forest. Meow. <laughs> hey, look, now there's four leopards among us. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> I'm a leopard. Okay, fine. Little Feet. And then the fox started chasing the little hare away. Ha <laughs> ha! Leo, check it out. The fox. Just like a real one. Oh, Mila, seriously. Tig, don't interrupt. Mila, go on. Come on, show us what happened next. But the little hare <laughs> didn't get scared of the fox. <laughs> Look at that hare. He didn't get scared. <laughs> what a big hero. Monster! Run! Uh, hey, Mila, is this also part of your performance? No. Hurry! Hey, careful! Oh, my Mica! Ah, you lot running! Not watching your step! Elsa! Thank you. So what happened exactly? Elsa! Elsa's coming! Oh, that's Elsa! He is so enormous! He's a hero! He saved our little boy! Yay! What now? A hero? Hero! Where? Hero! He's hero! safe! So what now? I'm a hero? <laughs> you hear that, Leo? I'm apparently a hero! <laughs> sure you are, Tig! Praise the hero! Praise the hero! Praise the hero! Come to her. What is this? Oh, your wiseness! It's the first heroic deed! Oh, hero! You saved our beloved little boy. And that's why we'd like to invite you to a feast. In your honor. Feast in my honor? This is so awesome. I'm a hero. Hero, hero. Tig, hero. you can't be serious. Sure I'm serious. Just watch me. Come on, guys. Come to my feast tonight. Praise the hero. Hey, you need to be more careful carrying me. Don't let the hero fall, right? Oh, hero, take the courageous. Are you quite happy staying with us? Uh-huh. It's a pity Leo can't see me right now. He would never believe this. <laughs> Is that my picture? Awesome! Now I have something to show Leo at the feast. Careful! Oh, oh. Hey! Help me! Huh? Made it. That was a close one. Praise the hero! Oh, Praise come on, hero. it's nothing. Praise Seriously. The, the second deed! The second deed! Hero. Oh, your royal highness! It's the second heroic deed! Take this! Get out of here! The third deed! It's the third deed! Praise the hero! <laughs> That's Praise right! The hero. It's so much fun Praise being a hero! hero. Praise the hero! Oh, great hero Tig! <laughs> the legend's telling the truth! You came back to us again. The legend? Huh. <laughs> what kind of legend? An ancient legend. It happened a long, long time ago. <gasps> Weak and small was the lemming tribe, afraid of everything. Anyone could hurt us. But most of all, our tribe was afraid of the forest monster. Every year, the monster would come to our pantry and plunder it. The lemmings then started to pray. 
Oh, great spirit of Tiger, we are small and need your protection. The spirit of Tiger heard them and promised to send down a hero. But the lemmings didn't recognize him right away. Only after he performed three heroic deeds, they realized he was the hero. The lemmings lowered their heads before the hero and told him about their troubles. The hero then went out and made the forest monster go away. That's awesome! What happened then? And then the hero left. But he said that if the forest monster would ever start bullying the tribe again, he will come back and we will recognize him by three heroic deeds. And now he's here. Yeah? So is he. <laughs> it's you, oh great hero. Praise the hero! And now the when hero! you're here, you will chase Praise away the, the scary forest monster. Praise the hero! Heh, <laughs> not a problem. So who's your monster then? A uh, chipmunk or something? <laughs> chipmunk? <laughs> no, it's actually a little bigger. Actually, I'm talking about Bilza. Bilza? <laughs> Bilza. You know what? I'm... I'm not ready to be a hero. I'm not hero material, really. I think you should find someone else, okay? Lemmings, the hero has to perform a heroic deed! Hero! 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 Hey, what are you doing? Let me go! Praise the hero! Praise I don't want to be your hero. hero! Praise the hero! Hey, you! Let me out of here, you hear me? I need to go home now! Praise, Praise the, the hero! hero. I mean, I'll be back in the evening in time for heroism. Come over here. I saved your life. It's your turn to help me. Go find my friends. Please? Okay. <laughs> Cuba, catch! <laughs> you missed! <laughs> Hey, wait a minute. Did you just say cage? Go back and start from the beginning. Hero! 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 Why did I decide to become a hero? I could be at home right now with Leo. Hero! 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 Lemmings! The time of heroism has come! Leo, my friend, where are you? Hero! Do you feel that you're ready to fight the forest monster? No, the hero's ready. <laughs> Good luck, hero. We believe in you. some kind of agreement? Okay, this is the end. Tig, don't be scared. I'm here. Leo, buddy, oh, you're here. You here to save me? Yes, Tig, I have a plan. Leo, are you trying to blind him? Is that your plan? Patience, Tig. The performance is only getting started. Leo, a monster! Oh, this is it! Goodbye, my friend. Scary monster. 
<laughs> Here's your scary monster, Tig. <laughs> wow, guys, that was something. What a great idea you came up with. Even Bielsa got scared of you. It's you who deserve to be called heroes. Oh, greatest of heroes. Oh, no, we're not your heroes. We were simply saving Tig. He's our friend. And the thing we use to scare away Bielsa is Micah. Oh, in that case, in that case, let's have a feast to honor Micah. And friends! And friends! <laughs> the Micah and Friends Day. <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> oh, your wiseness. Leo, I did perform three heroic deeds. <laughs> Didn't I? Oh, Tig, you're hopeless. <laughs> Get up, lazy bones. <laughs> Time to wake up. <sighs> what if we skip it today? I'm so sleepy. Uh, yeah. You sleepy heads! Yo, line up! Suck in that gut! And now... <laughs> Some water aerobics? What? It's time for target practice! What, target practice? Okay, there's an old stump in a clearing. Well, who will be the target? One, three, two! This will surely be... You! <laughs> Why do I always have to do it? Quiet, you! Now get to the hollow! Where? To the hollow! Ready? And aim! Fire! Whoa! Missed! All right, enough! Hey, what's with you? Can't you be a good sport? We're playing a game here! Well, it's a horrible game! Huh. <laughs> it's not horrible! It's like the best game ever. Ahem. Do you want me to show you a real game? Playing Battleship. Hey! All hands on deck! Drop anchor! Aye, aye! Captain, set sail! Captain, I spy some reefs dead ahead. Ensign, give me the spy glasses! Aye! The spy glass, Captain! Helm to port! Aye, helm to port! Ensign, hoist the colors! Aye, hoisting the colors! <laughs> Man overboard! Hey, sailor! Hoist the boat out! <sighs> when you need something done... Whoa! Well, how about that? You see? Now that's what I call a real game. Ha! <laughs> Big deal. <laughs> On the other hand, if this was a pirate ship... A pirate ship? <laughs> oh, yeah. Awesome. But where would we get a pirate ship? Why don't we just build one? What? <laughs> Pirates don't build their ships. They steal them. <laughs> All we've got to do is wait for the right moment. Guys, we're going to be late for Mama's lesson. We better hurry up. <gasps> right. Let's get going. Spike, check it out. What? They're gone? <laughs> Are the boarders ready? Boarders away! Charge! Charge! <laughs> Hi, Mappa Pandiga! Oh, we're sorry we're late. The one who is late steals time from the one who waits. And time is something you can't get back. But today I wanted to talk about something else. I wanted to talk to you all about... friendship. Mm, can anyone break these tweaks? 
That is so easy. I mean, look how thin they all are. <laughs> Tig, you can't break a single one. What sort of crazy weird magic is this? Weird magic? <laughs> uh, huh? Why don't you give it another try? Well then, have you figured it out what the magic is? I know! I know! Pick me! Of course. Go on, Mila. When we are together, we are strong. That a girl, Mila. Pirates! Cannon on board! <laughs> Down with the enemy flag! A pirate ship has to have a pirate flag! A pirate flag! Yeah. Spike, look how crooked and bent their swords are! <laughs> They're sabers, and it's Captain Spike! Y'all got that? It's Captain Spike! Uh, Captain Spike, uh, what are we gonna do when Spatty and Strength come back? Yar! We'll cut them to pieces! Do you see how many cannons we have? Do you see how many sabers we have? Yes! <laughs> They're all bent! <laughs> I also have an idea! A brilliant pirate idea! <laughs> <laughs> Jungle there? Yes, Mila. Nothing but thick, impassable jungle. And wild animals. And man eating fish. <laughs> and aggressive spiders. <laughs> Perhaps we should avoid this desert island. Really? How come? The only way to become a true sailor is on a desert island. But perhaps it's far away. What are we going to do while we're sailing to the island? Ideas? We will gather supplies. You, Mila, collect some nuts. Tig will collect mushrooms. I'll take berries. Okay, let's make it happen. Ah, hey, Striped. Getting ready for a distant cruise? That's none of your business. Well, I I'm just worried about you because your crew is quite wonky. You are the wonky one. Ah, you should have heard what Leo called you. <laughs> he said, Tig's no good as a helmsman. Give him the ship and he'll sink it just like that. And Mila said, Yes, I can steer myself. Let Tig run around like a good cabin boy for a bit. But from our point of view, it's pretty obvious who the real captain of the ship is. Really? And who is that? Ah, oh dear. Of course it's you, Striped. Only you have stripes on your fur, like a real sailor. Yep, he said just like this. How could he be a captain if he doesn't what? even have stripes on his fur? And Milo went, we must make Leo a cabin boy so he won't get a big fat head. <laughs> Can you imagine? They also said that there's no place for girls on board. Can you believe it? What? What? Yeah, they said that. Can you imagine? Wh what? Yar, pirates! Come on, put her in the brig! Leo! <laughs> 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 no, no, Tig! Help me! <laughs> Nobody's gonna help you! Yo ho ho! No, no one will save, save you now! now. Oh no, so sad! <laughs> so, you have stripes on your fur. Believe it or not, yes, I do. So what? You'll never become a captain. A captain? <laughs> of you two? No, thank you. I will never step aboard your ship again. You can go play by yourselves, you and Mila. No way. You can have Mila. I don't want to see you again or else. Or else what? <sighs> hmm. What's that? <gasps> it's Mila! Go right now! No way! 
Your crew member is now ours. And the ship as well. <laughs> Yo ho ho. <laughs> Here we come. <laughs> again. I'm not playing this game anymore. <laughs> look, look. Cuba found Spike again. <laughs> Unbelievable. Spike can't hide to save his life. What? <laughs> what do you mean can't hide? Well, I'll show you how to hide. That means you too, little piggy. <gasps> it's a black frog. <laughs> What's the matter? Don't you know? Running into a black frog is bad luck. Bad luck, I'm telling you. <laughs> a black frog! Stop! Stop! Don't move! <laughs> back! Back, I say! Uh, back! Uh, run away! Run away! Oh, big deal. A black frog. So what? It's just a superstition. We don't believe in such things. Okay, we gotta go. Let's go. <laughs> Have a look. Isn't she a darling? Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on. You guys know nothing about being fabulous. Cuba? Are you all right? Leo, what if this thing is actually for real? What are you talking about? A black frog hopped on Cuba, and Spike said that this is bad luck for him. A black frog? Huh. Actually, there is a story I heard before. It's of the spooky swamp monster. 
In a dark and gloomy forest, in a spooky, noxious swamp, there once dwelled the evil, wicked swamp monster. <laughs> And it was bringing nothing but misery to every creature in the forest. So the kind spirit of the taiga chose to punish the swamp monster. And he turned it into an eerie black frog. But even as a frog, the inhabitants of the forest could not rest for the Swamp Monster continued his reign of terror, bringing bad luck to all who crossed his path. So it means Cuba is going to be cut. Don't get yourselves worked up. They say that the curse only works for just one day. If nothing happens to Cuba overnight, then you don't have to worry about a thing. See? Relax. Nothing will happen to him. Together, we'll protect him. Take, keep your eyes peeled. I will, Leo. By the way, I just remembered one more sign of bad luck. Cuba, spit it out! What of their last years? Everyone knows this fact. The one who eats last year's acorn will have an oak tree grow out of his head. I heard this from Magpie. So Cuba, you better play it safe. You'll eat tomorrow. Cuba! Cuba! Cuba, you can't roll in the mud! Did you know that there are evil spirits there? That's it. They must be hiding in there for sure. <laughs> wee! 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 Cuba, be careful! There could be snakes in the grass! Wee! 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 Don't be scared, Cuba! We got you! We won't let anything Look, Cuba, the sun is setting. Tomorrow the bad luck will wear off for sure. We just have to survive the night is all. Yeah, and I know a safe place right around here. Bravo, Tig! You found us a pretty good cave. Nothing bad is going to happen to Cuba here. You got that right. Did you hear the story about the cave monster? Nope, Tink. He's somewhere around here. And then the monster suddenly jumps out. Cuba! 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 Cuba, Cuba wait! Cuba! Cuba, wait! Oh, 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 oh.
Black Frog curse must be real. He's doomed to sit in this pit till the end of time, huh? Tig, we need to ask Mapa Pandiga for help. All right. The Black Frog, you say? Well, yes. It brings bad luck. Please tell me how a small, tiny little frog could have driven Cuba into a pit. Well, it wasn't the frog. He did it himself. He got scared to death and... Well, who scared him that much then? Yes, uh, who indeed? Why are you looking at me like that? Tig? I think all our stories may have scared the living hooves out of Cuba. Oh. Oh, oh. Kids, with your good intentions, you trampled a path for your friend right to a pit. You know what? Because of all these bad luck signs, even I started to get spooked. We're sorry, Cuba. How about some hide and seek? <laughs> That's bad luck for sure. Tig! I hope those aren't last year's acorns. Tig! Aw, oh, come on! I'm just kidding! <laughs> <laughs> Little Blizzy. Whoa! A pine cone! But I saw it first! Mapa Pantiga put me in charge of collecting cones! Oh, back. No! Let's go! Martens! No. Target detected! The spotted one! And the striped one! Get your best cones ready! And shoot! <laughs> Thank you, Spike! Now we have enough food supplies for the whole winter! Let's go to Mappa! Oh, he'll be so happy! <laughs> <laughs> what now? <laughs> he says enough food supplies for the whole winter! <laughs> Whatever! Spike! Just to be clear, when are we gonna start stocking up on food? We are not! Martins never stock up on food. Martins use their brains instead. Ah. <laughs> Good job. Well done. It's great to see how many cedar nuts you brought us. In the taiga, food stock is the most crucial thing. Without it, you can't survive winter. When the blizzard comes, you will all be grateful to me. Where will it come from? Yeah, where does the blizzard come from? Where is her home? Mapa Pandiga, tell us please, where does the blizzard live? There's not much to tell, really. The blizzard lives in her icy castle, on the top of the highest mountain, where snow doesn't melt all year long. And when the winter comes, she goes down into the taiga. And then, be careful not to make her angry. If the blizzard gets angry, bad things are coming. She will freeze everyone and turn everyone into ice. No one will be spared, neither animals, nor birds, nor trees. They say once the entire taiga almost died because of its icy breath. Oh, dear me! I think it's getting chilly. What if that's the blizzard getting angry? The... the blizzard? 
angry? That's just a fairy tale, right, Mappa Pendiga? Maybe it's a fairy tale, or maybe it's not. Leo, where are we going? We have to find the blizzard and find out what made her so angry. Look, there is no blizzard. You heard, Mappa. It's just a fairy tale. <gasps> Did you hear that? That's her. The blizzard. Hide now! Quickly, hide the food stock before the blizzard manages to find it. Go ahead, hide them. <laughs> They're gonna be ours anyway. We just need to come up with a plan. Come on, Spike, think. Mappa Pandiga, Mappa Pandiga. We know why the blizzard is upset and angry. It's because she lost her only daughter, Blizzy. <laughs> we need to find her. Then the blizzard will stop being angry. And the tiger won't freeze! Ah, good idea. Okay, so the blizzard lost her only daughter. <laughs> Very interesting. I think I've come up with a plan. They're gonna give us all their stock themselves. Follow me! Someone wants to find you so badly, they will give up everything, even their food stock for the winter. I want my mommy. Spike, what are we supposed to do? <laughs> You're supposed to watch the Blizzy. Don't let her out of your sight. <laughs> what is she doing? I don't know. Probably just wants to play a bit. Look here. No, stop! Oh, here? give you the blizzy, and in exchange, you give us all the food you've stocked for the winter, and everyone's happy. So, how do you like my plan? How do you like my plan? Have a taste of this. Wait now, Tig. We need to get Blizzy back whatever it takes, or else the taiga might come to an end. What about her stock? We'll have to find more then. Spike? We take the deal. That's good. This is my kind of conversation. I've always been saying, you just need to use your brain. Spike, the blizzy <laughs> fell into a cave. What? Say what? A little more, and the whole tiger will be frozen. We need to get Blizzy back right now. Here. This is where she fell through. We'll have to follow her down there. Down there? Into the icy labyrinth? No! The icy labyrinth? Leo, we're not going in there, right? I will go. Oh, no way, Leo. Uh, okay, I'll go too. I'm just gonna get some cones first, because there are, you know, all kinds of bats and also spiders. <laughs> Boy, do I hate all these labyrinths. Lizzie! Hello? I think... We should go right. Let's go right if you say so. Blizzy! Another dead end. There's no way we'll be able to find her. And even if we do, we won't make it out of here. Get up, Tig. We have to move. Uh, where on earth did those two go? <sighs> See, Shorty? It's all because of you. Why is it always me? She started it. <laughs> And who is that? Oh, Leo, 
Look here, it's a cedar nut. So it means we've already been here before. A cedar nut? Wow, Tig, you're a genius. Me? Well, I mean, thank you. Okay, give me the cone. It will help us not to get lost. All right, so we can use the little nuts to mark our trail. I come up with the best ideas. <laughs> with this snow. Tig, it suits you. Spring is over, and it's still freezing. Uh-huh. I really miss all that sunshine, too. <laughs> and I miss the flowers. Come out, sunshine. Where did you go? <laughs> I'm sure it will come out just for you. There once was someone in the taiga who the sun listened to. <gasps> really? Come along with me, kids. The Sun Folk. <laughs> Look at that! Awesome! Mappa, who are they? This is the Sun Folk. What kind of folk? Sun folk. These animals lived in the taiga a long time ago. It is said that they descended from the sun itself. In cold times, when the sun used to stop giving warmth to the earth, they used to send the chosen one the strongest and fastest one in their tribe, to talk to the forefather and ask him to turn up the heat. And the son listened to him. But Mapa Pandiga, how did they talk to the sun? It's so high up. There is a valley of geysers behind the quick river and the big swamp. And in the valley lies the magical sunstone. They used it to communicate. Mappa, where are these sun folks right now? 
Nobody knows. Some say they left these parts a long time ago. But others believe that the Sun Folk is still among us. They just forgot about where they came from. There, look. To me, this chosen one looks like Leo, don't you think? <laughs> oh, you're right. <laughs> he does. <laughs> uh, okay, kids. Let's get going. It's getting chilly. <laughs> Leo, Leo, stop sitting around. Come play tag with us. Tink, I still can't get the Sun Folk story out of my head. <laughs> Try to think on the run. <laughs> it will warm you up a lot. Just listen for a sec. What if I, I mean, leopards are the Sun Folk? And I'm the Chosen One. You, the Chosen One? Why not? You said yourself that the one from the picture looks a lot like me. Well, he does. It means I have to go to the Valley of the Geysers and look for the Sunstone. Leo, it's very dangerous to go to the Valley. <laughs> Guys, come on, try to understand. If I am the Chosen One, I have to talk to the Sun. Otherwise, summer will never come. Whether you're the Chosen One or not, this much, I know. We're not going to let you go alone. Yeah, Tink is right. We'll go with you. <laughs> no way. I'm not gonna go in that water. Let me think. I'll come up with something. A raft? Wow, Cuba. You're a genius. Leo, what are you doing? Hop on the raft. You forget, Tig. I'm the chosen one. <laughs> uh, I have to find the sunstone by myself. <laughs> Leo! Well, <laughs> don't worry, I got this, guys. <laughs> We finally made it to the big swamp. I'm sure that this whole swamp is already frozen or something. Whoa! Maybe not. Leo, where are you going? I'm jumping over it. Leo, that's crazy. Come with us. It is safer together. Don't be afraid, guys. I'm the chosen one. I totally got this. If this so-called sunstone does not exist, you're giving me a piggy ride back. Uh, 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 Leo, uh, you might want to be careful. Uh, it's okay. I can do this. I am the chosen one. It's okay when you use teamwork and avoid taking unnecessary risks. Are you coming? Yeah. You guys taking a nap? Let's go! Oh. Okay. Now Leo will crawl up to his hunk of rock, say hello to the sun, and then we can go home. Hey, guys! What about the geysers? What about the geyser schmeisers? They won't stop us. Leo, you 
tried hard, but you see, there's no way to get through. Let's forget about the stone. Let's go home, okay? <sighs> Guys, you go. I'll catch up later. Chosen one. I got this. I can do this. I'm sorry, Leo, but it seems even the chosen one can't do it by himself. But together, we got this. Come on, push. <laughs> <laughs> Nicely, and the sunshine came out. By the time we came back, everything already bloomed. Nicely done. It has indeed become much warmer. It was Leo's idea. <laughs> he suggested we go to the Sunstone. Thank you, friends. Without your help, I just couldn't have done it myself. Ah, kids. As they say, the one without friends is like a tree without roots. And always remember this. Two heads are better than one. <laughs> Lost inspiration. Ready? Yeah, I was born ready. Go for it. Okay, guys. Watch and learn. Oh. Well, want to give it another try? Nah, I'm so bored. How about we play some tag instead? No, thank you. We play tag every day. Ugh. Well, then, maybe go to the river? Why, I don't mind. There are such beautiful water lilies there. The river again? Like we haven't done that a billion times already. Ugh. Boring. Stork Theodore has lost his inspiration! Stork Theodore has lost his inspiration! Breaking news! Breaking news! Stork Did you Theodore hear? Has lost his inspiration. Theodore has lost his. Uh, inspiration. <sighs> yeah, so. What do you mean? You said it yourself. Boring. Here's our chance for some adventure. We'll help Theodore find this thing. Inspir. Oh, yeah? You're right. Come on, let's go. Leo! By the way, what is inspiration? Well, ta ta ta, ta 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 ta. <laughs> ta ta ta, ta 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 ta. The sun peaked from the clouds like a star among the crowds. Oh no, that's no good. Hello, Theodore. We heard that you lost your. Uh, the thing that. What's it called, huh? Ta-ta-ta, ta-ta-ta-ta. How about we help you find it again? 
Could you tell us what it looks like? This thing we're looking for? The inspiration? Oh, it's so luminous. It's so, so magnificent. It, it's like a... Uh, uh, like a flower? Like... Uh, 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 achoo! Uh, inspiration livens up everything. Even the most commonplace trees, you can see how they breathe. Oh! Wow! Oh, wow! I think I found it! Found what? That thing, you know. Ta-ta-ta! Ta-ta-ta! Let me have a look. Hmm. Hmm. Well... Indeed, this magical stone is very similar to Inspiration. Uh -huh. This is the one you call Inspiration. This stone is truly magical. A magical stone! Leo has found a magical stone! A magical stone! Leo has found a magical stone! Leo has found a magical stone! A what magical is this stone. magical stone? It is so shiny, so beautiful! Hmm. Beautiful and shiny? I like the sound of that. The magical stone must be mine! Hmm. Ta 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 Oh, very good. <laughs> That's our Theodore. Be quiet. <laughs> Theodore has to know something. <clears throat> And now, I will sing for you my new song. Uh, it's, to be honest, it's not exactly ready yet, but still. <laughs> <laughs> and now... Help, 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 help you hear that? Someone's calling for help. Let's get moving. Go, go. Magical stone! <laughs> Spotty and Stripe are coming back here. Let's run! Hmm, that's strange. No one was there. <gasps> Who cried for help? Hold on! Where's the stone? It was right there! <gasps> Martins! They've stolen our stone! <gasps> Such cunning trickery! I just can't believe it! In a world where this is possible, there's no place for inspiration. I'm sorry. I have to be alone. I guess he must be very upset. Tell me about it. Once again, he lost his... Ta-ta-ta, ta-ta-ta. The magic stone was stolen. You know what? We're gonna get the stone back. <laughs> Good idea. Then inspiration will come back to Theodore. Let's go. <laughs> Give me the stone! We're the ones who found it! Is that right? Finders, weepers, loses, keepers. Oops, no wait. Finders, keepers, loses, weepers. But isn't that right? Sounds about right! <laughs> and you only have yourself to blame. <laughs> Give us a stone! Not gonna happen! Let's roll! Go Give us the stone! <laughs> I think we lost them. Haha, -ha, you're busted! Give me the stone! No! It's mine now! Marcus, let's go! <laughs> Give back our stone! Not a chance! <laughs> Breaking news! Breaking news! Magpie has rescued the magical stone! Breaking news! Breaking news! Magpie has no, rescued no. the magical stone! No, no! The stone is ours! Stone. Hey, wait! Come back here! We can't catch Magpie for sure. But what are we going to say to Theodore? Well, you see, all in all, the stone was almost in our hands. But then we lost it. You mean, that is to say, you did all of this for me? Yes. Yes, because...
because we wanted to give you back your, your, da 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 inspiration. We tried our very, very best. We really did. Will you forgive us, Theodore? Forgive you? But for what? This is the most inspirational thing I've ever heard. Nobody's done ever anything like this for me. You are my inspiration. And the stone, <laughs> it's just a stone. Really? Sure. You know what? I think my song just might be ready now. Here, listen to it. As the clouds depart the sky, inspiration makes us fly. As the clouds depart the sky, on your friends you can rely. <laughs> Let the sun shine upon friendship. <laughs> to the sun will wave hello. We're all friends, don't you know? Whatever happens, rain or shine, when together we'll be fine. at all this magic oh, 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 oh. with such friends nothing is tragic oh, 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 oh. round and round sun bunnies dancing oh, 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 oh. happy days they are enhancing Friends, nothing is tragic. Around and round, somebody's dancing. Happy days, they are enhancing. Keep looking. The stone has to be there. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, wait, wait. Uh, uh, uh -huh. Uh -huh. Goodbye, Theodore. So have you come up with an interesting question? I spent all night thinking, but I still have nothing. I've got a question, but I forgot it. Hi, Theodore. Do you also want to listen to Mappa? No, oh, no, my friends. I just wanted to say goodbye. To say goodbye? Ah, it's September already. Today at sunset, our flock is flying off to the warmer lands. Over there, at the Blue Hills, is where we meet. Whoa, it's so far. You call this far? The warmer lands, that's really far away. Several days of a strenuous flight through heat and cold. Through winds and storms. All right, children. What questions have you prepared for me? Today, as promised, I will answer the most interesting one. Who's up? So what? No questions. 
Papa Pendiga, why do storks fly to the warmer lands for the winter? Good one, Leo. <laughs> Wonderful. That is an interesting question indeed. A long time ago, back at the dawn of time, the weather was always hot on Earth. But then, the climate began to change, and animals started to dress in furs and feathers. Those who chose feathers learned how to fly and became birds. Later, it turned out that the feathers are not good for keeping you warm in winter. But the birds didn't want to give up their plumage. They wouldn't trade this new and magical feeling of flying for any fur coat, no matter how warm or beautiful. That's why, ever since that time, every year, Many birds have to fly far, far away to the warmer lands where they can stay till the harsh winter is over. I'm so glad I've got my fur coat. There's no way I'd be flying to the warmer lands. Oh, so pretty. Where did it come from? That is Theodore's feather. But without it, how can he fly to the warmer lands? We need to return it. Give his feather back. Can we make it? We don't have any other choice. In that case, let's go, guys. Think of something. No, Leo. Just no. Why not? Jump now, Tig. Don't be scared. I'm gonna jump first. Okay. As a gentleman, I'll let you go first. Huh? <laughs> <clears throat> oh, wow! Why did I never jump like that before? <laughs> Woo! But this is so high. I can't do this. I'll just wait here. All right, Tig. Stay there if you want. But could you catch the vine first? Good job, Tig! Jump now! Get me out of here, Leo! Hold on! Hold on tight! Tig! Tig! I'm coming! just got caught on a thorn, so he couldn't jump off. That's right. Caught on a thorn. is so thick. I can't see anything. That's it. They're leaving soon, and apparently we're lost. Mm. What about Theodore? The feather! The feather! Grab it! Quickly! Ugh, what good is it now? We're late anyway. There's no way out of this fog. The magic feather! It's trying to show us the way!
We're running fast to help a friend. We always stick together. And when we cannot find our way, please guide us, Magic Feather. And if you are in trouble, friend, don't worry, don't be sad. We'll always come to help you out, and things won't be so bad. Then let them say that birds and bees can never get along. The friendship has no boundaries. We love you, we adore. Through the darkest woods, through fogs and rains and more. We'll cross the fastest rivers to, to get to Theodore. We're running fast to help a friend. We always stick together. And when we cannot find our way, please guide us, Magic Feather. <laughs> That's really funny, Theodore. You're friends with a tiger, a leopard, and a lynx. I don't believe you. Where could he go? Leo! Yara! I have really bad luck today. First, I got caught in a thorn, and now I fell into this deep pit. I'm so sick of vines. Have wonderful friends. We made it! Yay! <laughs> we found your feather. You lost it, right? Yeah, this is my feather. But why? I think you can't fly without it. Oh no, Tig. One feather wouldn't affect the way I fly in the slightest. So we came for nothing? No, not at all. I'm so happy, my friends, that you came to say goodbye before I leave. And this feather is for you to remember me. Goodbye! And good luck, Theodore! <laughs> <laughs> when the wind above the sea waves, when the wind above the sea waves, when the wind above the sea waves starts to storm and rage, we will scare it up with shouts. We will scare it up with shouts and continue on our flight. Cause uh, you've got longer legs. 
legs. Oh, come on, Tig. <laughs> legs have nothing to do with it. You just have to train more often. I have been training. Uh, like last week. Uh, Quiet, you two. Enough, kids. You shouldn't argue unless you want the same thing to happen to you as what happened to the kingfisher and the owl. What, what happened to them? Once upon a time, when the great cedar was just a teeny tiny little seed, there were two birds living in the forest. Two good friends, the white-throated kingfisher and the owl. The two were inseparable, doing everything together and always helping each other out. But then one day, the kingfisher saw his reflection and became arrogant. He started to boast, just look at my wonderful feathers. I'm so handsome and colorful, and you are nothing but gray. That hurt the owl's feelings, so he flew away into the wild woods. What? Into the wild woods? As in, as in the wild woods are not for play? It's better if you stay away? Exactly, that's the one. Left without his friend, the Kingfisher grew sad. And so, he decided to find the owl and apologize for the things he said. The Kingfisher flew to the grizzled waterfall and asked him earnestly, Please, help me. Show me how to find my friend. The waterfall agreed to help the Kingfisher, but only in exchange for his bright and colorful plumage. The Kingfisher broke into tears. This is the most valuable thing I have. Nevertheless, he gave away his brightly colored feathers and got his friend back. And suddenly, he realized that he got it wrong. The most valuable thing was actually... Leo! Tig! I've been looking for you! Hurry up! The competition's about to start! Everybody's waiting for you! Oh, Mappa Pandiga, how are you? The competition? Wow, that's right! Tig! We completely forgot about uh -huh. it! Let's go! Let the competition begin right now! Yeah! 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 Competitors will run along the forest trail around the giant hill and come back to this spot. Our racers are Tig, Cuba, Mila, and our three time favorite winner, Leo! Yeah! Yeah! Is everyone ready? On your mark? Oh, 
don't be upset, Leo. If it weren't for your shortcut, I would have won. Or you wouldn't have won. Ah, uh, calm down. It's just a race. Not fair. You don't get it. You've won many times, and I never win. So what if I win this time? Oh, Leo, what was that? Help! I think it's coming from there. From, from the, the wild, wild woods! Help me! Somebody save me! <laughs> help me! Please! I'm scared! <laughs> Please! You gotta help me! Hold on! Please, please. We're coming! Help! Please help me! Please! Please! I'll get him! Please! Take him! Hurry up! Please! Uh, Leo! Please! Stop I can't go any further! Take a break! Pig! There's no time for a break! Come on, champion! Let's go! But I'm not a champion! You're the Dang. winner! Now is not the time! We need to save that poor bunny! I can't, Leo! Fine. I'll run after him, and you go get us help! Find him no matter what. Why am I wearing this thing? It's wrong. Leo was the real winner. I lied to you. Oh, wow. Look, it's just like in the story. Come on, guys, this way. Follow me. <laughs> I want my mommy. Don't be scared. My friend Tig, he's going to come and bring help. We'll get out of here. Wow! Look! A rainbow! A rainbow? Unbelievable! Leo! Beautiful rainbow! Leo! Tig is so Tig, great! Tig, we're down here at the bottom! Amazing! That's Tig. He made it! That's great! Yay! Leo! I found you! And I told everyone the truth, that you're the real winner. I'm sorry. Aw, oh, Tig, forget about that. It's all good. Get us out of here already. Climb up now, but be careful. Leo! Tig! High five! <laughs> So, whose wreath is it? Leo's! No, this is Tig's wreath. <laughs> <laughs> well, Tig, first one to the old cedar is the winner. <laughs> Just a second. I'm gonna... <laughs> Train harder! <laughs> All right, I'm definitely getting there first. <laughs> you better run. Like that. <laughs> hi, everyone. Glad to oh, see hi, you. Oh, hi, Mila. We're off 
to get more branches. You stay here and keep watch. Uh-huh. Uh, I got it. We've been gathering these branches all day long. If we keep going, the trees will be bare. I'm guarding the fortress. I'm guarding the fortress. I'm gu... Who am I guarding it from? <laughs> all right. The spotty and the stripey went away. Hey! Get on over here now, Shorty. <laughs> this is our meadow now, with all its raspberries. What do you mean it's yours? The meadow is public, and the fortress is ours. <laughs> it used to be, but not anymore. <laughs> Martins, attack! Get her! No! <laughs> I'm not afraid of you! <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear me! <laughs> uh -oh. Shoot down that, uh, butterfly! Hey! Bush Leaguers! <laughs> you can't get me! Whoop! You missed! Ah. Oh, that was slow. <laughs> Try again, guys! Oh, ow! He actually hit me! Whoa. <laughs> hey, Shorty! Get out of our fortress! Oh, you're all alone now! <laughs> Go! <laughs> She's not alone! Ah, the spotted one! This is our fortress! It used to be, it's not anymore! So I've been carrying these branches for nothing? Martins, attack! You hear that? I hope you learned your lesson! And don't try to scare <laughs> me again! I can't believe this. We got beaten by the spotty and the stripey. Shame on our heads. <gasps> Look here. This is Beals's lair. Well, well, I've got an idea. <laughs> <laughs> Quiet. Mmm, raspberry. Nice, sweet raspberry. Lots of it. Lots of it. And then Mila screams, attack them! <laughs> Did you see me? I grabbed one of them, boom, and that was it. The fight was over, and I'm like, don't you come back. <laughs> <laughs> it was awesome! <laughs> Leo, we should run. <laughs> Scared much? That'll teach you not to get in our way. It's our meadow now, with raspberries and everything. So, hey, guys. Does it mean that our meadow and our fortress, all of that is gone? Calm down, Mila. We'll get it all back. Yeah, sure we will. Wait. Leo, 
Did you see it? We're not strong enough. We can't beat Beals. I think I know someone who can help us. Uh, dear Mr. Beals, uh, we, we had a deal that half of the raspberries would be ours. Okay, okay. We get it. We totally get it. We do. We totally do. We're leaving already. Run! <laughs> 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 oh, no, kids. <laughs> I'm a bit too old to fight the brown bear. You were our only chance to beat him. Leo, let's give up and go to the river. Wait a minute. Mappa Pandiga? So there's no animal in the forest stronger than the brown bear? <laughs> Once upon a time, brown bears had no reason to doubt that. There was no animal stronger than them. So the brown bear grew vain and started to abuse his power, doing bad things. But for every power, there's an even stronger power. The spirit of the tiger always has his children's back. What do we do now? Search for the spirit of Tyga again so he chases Beals away? No. We'll get him ourselves. Okay. Mila, I need you to distract Beals. And Cuba, sneak up on his right side. <laughs> you! Tig! Look at who decided to visit us. Shush! That glutton kicked us out. He promised to share the raspberries with us. <laughs> Let me guess he didn't. Sure enough! Okay. Right now, we need to join forces and chase him away. Well, are you with us? For sure. We're with you. But we go 50-50 on the raspberries. <laughs> Right, we found it first. <laughs> oh! Who do you think you are destroying our fortress? Go away right now! Oh, I get it. You want to show me something? You're home. Why don't you go back inside? Oh, I see. There's something blocking it. Mm, yeah. Don't sting me now. <laughs> are you saying thank you? Huh? Mila's in danger! Bees, will you help me? Please? <laughs> Throw more! Throw more! Oh, we ran out of pine cones! Ouch! <gasps> oh no! Yes, he came here to help us. <laughs> but how did he know? That's right, run away. Go on, run faster. The spirit of Tyga's gonna get you. <laughs> Bye, bees. Thank you for helping. You go defeat another enemy. For his valor and outstanding flying, Marty is rewarded <laughs> with a delicious raspberry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, these are good raspberries. <laughs> 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 